everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm here in my soon to be garage and there have been a few changes since the last time I showed you it in my previous video I am so excited because it's coming together so I'll be showing you those in a few but before that do you guys see what's in back of me <laughs> I am so glad it's back up and running I've missed driving that car it was sitting in my garage for I don't know quite some time so <laughs> I'm so happy that it's back up I enjoyed the drive here and I also wanted to come in this car and then you know show it its future home I already brought the Camaro the red eye next I'll have to bring the Shelby but that one will need some assistance <laughs> at least in its current state so let me show you the changes that have happened so far here so the first change were the floors so I had a company come here and then they pressure washed them they scrubbed the floors and honestly they did a great great job it came out even better than I thought it would the only thing is that I'm not sure if you guys remember in this work area so it had this what I thought was some ceiling so it's dark blue here and then like a light blue or a gray color there so there are some of these that did came off so you can see this is the bare concrete and then this is the rest of that now I asked them what they thought this was since obviously they work on floors they would be a little bit more familiar than me and they think it's just some sort of non-slip paint that's here so i mean that makes sense even though this area was in a bit of a more worse condition than that other one so this one has had its rough days compared at least to this one so you can see this one just has a few little patches here in which with the pressure washing and then them cleaning the floors it came off this one has a lot more but it is <laughs> It's just night and day compared to before. Now, as far as the rest of the garage here, they were able to remove a lot of the stains. Now, of course, it's still going to have some stains here that they just couldn't remove because they've just been there for quite some time. But this looks so different. I'll actually include some pictures here of how the floor looked before and even in the process. So you guys can see, they, man, they removed so much mud, so much dirt they were even amazed of how dirty this floor was but i think now after cleaning it i'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference here on camera but at least in person it is night and day so again great job i was completely surprised of how this turned out i know a lot of you suggested that i do something with the floor maybe like epoxy or something and that's something i've thought about but i still haven't made up my mind yet because i'm leasing this place this isn't an actual place of mine so I was thinking if I do do something like that, like epoxy, then it would be in my main work area and just in a small section where the cars would actually be under because that makes the most sense. I don't think it would make sense to do it in this rest of the shop, Just, but we'll see. We'll see as time progresses what I decide to do. I may change my mind later on or maybe not, but let me show you now one of the biggest changes that has happened in the shop so far so the next big change were the walls you guys know i mentioned this in my previous video that i, I really want to get the walls painted just because it would help with lighting since it was just a little bit too dark in here which lighting is one of the next few things that i need to change but it did take a little bit of time at least to get the right company to paint them because i called quite a few just because i wanted to get different quotes and then just on their opinions on what they thought on what they would actually think would be the best so I called a few and some of them didn't show up. Um, I called the others and they came, they quoted me, but I thought, okay, that price is just a little bit outrageous. So <laughs> let me try others. So I finally found a good company and they provided a good quote. So I said, let's go ahead with it. I want this done as soon as possible. So it wasn't even a week. It was just a few days. They had their guys working in here and they said the job would take like about three days. It actually took less than that. It took about two days and they did a great, great job. So the first day they pretty much came in here and just started prepping everything. So they covered the entire floor. They covered all the electric panels, basically anything that shouldn't be painted, they covered. And then they worked on just priming the entire thing, just prepping and priming. And then they started with the painting, which as you know, this is a lot of wall. So let me show you how it looks so far, which again, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. What a difference, right? It looks so much brighter in here and it just being white, it just looks so clean, so presentable, at least compared to before. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but you can see it in the previous video where this area had wood planks and it was just, it, the color, you can tell, <laughs> it would stand out a lot more. And I also had them paint this side here behind 
the office well this is the office because they had wooden planks here that's what those are underneath and these walls were quite a bit dirty so they repainted the walls as well and just the entire warehouse so they even got up there and they painted all these walls what a difference this makes i am so glad that the walls are white now so at first when they first started prepping and priming they started first with the lower level all across the warehouse and then they used a scissor lift to get to the upper level so they primed the entire area and then they started painting again back to the lower level and then the upper level again so i think they did a great great job it just looks even not only does it look better at least as far as light and just presentable it also makes it look a little bit bigger in here quick change of elevation i'm all the way up high fun fact i am terrified of heights but sometimes i like to take some risks so i'm here on top of a scissor lift so the painting company left this outside the shop and we were like, you know what, Chris is here with me. We are like, you know what, maybe we should try it out and then that way we can at least replace these lights in the work area, which I'm about to show you in a minute. And just see, so we YouTubed it really quick how it works and it's pretty simple. The only thing, it's a little bit sketchy. I'm trying not to move so much because it, it rocks. <laughs> so I am just a little bit scared, but I'm going to replace it. So we got some cooler lights here. These aren't going to be the permanent lights, but it works right now. It'll be better. And I know it's not going to match the lights right here in the rest of the shop, but you guys will get to see a difference. But at least for now, it'll look better in the work area. So it's time to go down. Let me tell you, I've done this three times for the three other lights. It doesn't get any better, at least for me, because once you go down in the scissor lift, it keeps rocking. I can't get used to that. So once it goes down, it kind of kind of jumps down you feel like it's just gonna go directly down so it gives you that feeling once you get in a roller coaster with your stomach so it doesn't get any better so I might be a little bit spooked I still can't get over it <laughs> so let's go down but before we do let's get a top-down view of the red eye so here we go top view of the red eye I know I had mentioned in a previous video that I would make another video with the continuation of the rest of the installation at least for the lower pulley and let me just tell you that it turned out being a lot more involved than I initially thought it was going to be. I don't say this often. I think I've only said this once so far before, at least that I can remember. So I said this once with the APR front splitter for the Camaro and now with this installation. So if you plan on installing the lower pulley, also putting the crank, oh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I would suggest just taking it somewhere else because like I said, it is <laughs> it's quite involved. You can do it yourself, at least with some help, which is exactly what I ended up. So Chris and I ended up working on this ourselves and it's just the lack of space. You know, having the car up on a lift helped. I can't imagine having the car just on <laughs> just traditional jack stands. I think that would just make it even harder. So just having the lift helps. So if you have that help, and I guess if you want to just really take your time because it took also a lot longer uh, we also had to trim the bolt in order to have the ati fit we also had to trim a part of the front engine cover so like i said it is quite involved so if you want to <laughs> do this yourself at least have some help and have the patience if not then just take it somewhere and have them do it so either way i'm happy that the installation is now done the car had been sitting in the garage i don't even know how many weeks now or I don't even know for like a few months so I'm glad I'm glad I drove it here so I'm so happy that it's finally back up and running so the red eye currently has a 285 upper pulley a 10% lower pulley it has large injectors so it has 1050 injectors holder plugs and for fuel it currently has Q16 so it's not fully tuned yet I am working with Josh from HHP right now with all the modifications that it currently has he sent me a base tune and on the way here I did a few pulls and just did some logging and I made sure that the AFR stayed somewhere between 11.5 11.6 all the way to 11.8 range because that's exactly where he wanted them so that's good that it stayed there he pretty much just wants it to stay consistently then after that I need to send that to him and then he needs to make any revision and in order for me to experience you know its full potential for it to unleash 
everything that it has now with all its modifications. It will take a little bit of back and forth, but I'm very, very excited, especially now that it's finally done. Like I said, it was sitting in the garage for I don't even know how long. The next power modification that it's still missing are the Corsa headers. I won't be installing that at my house because I don't have the room. I will be installing that once I fully move in here. But one thing that I can do, which I should have done a while back, is that I need to remove the AWE Touring exhaust. So that's what it currently has now. And I need to change it and just install my custom one. If you guys remember that video, so it's pretty much a straight pipe and it's loud, but I love how it sounds. <laughs> so I'm very excited for the Hellcat Red Eye, guys. It feels so good <laughs> to be back in it and drive it next. Of course, it's my Shelby that's going to come in due time. But that's it pretty much for the updates for the warehouse. Uh, I do have to work on lighting next. I know. I still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do as far as lighting. I've had a few companies come out here, but I'm still working on that. Either way, I'll update you of any changes, any improvements as we go along. We're getting closer to moving in here which is very very excited but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one